Howard, I'm told there's evidence that shows that this suspected brothel that's been going on, that's been found, is linked to a massage parlor in Kaka'ako that was shut down by law enforcement. Neighbors say they still can't believe what happened. This is shocking. This is a nice, quiet, upscale neighborhood. You know, and how they slipped in. Scarlett lives a few houses down from the house on Kalai Pohaku Street. He says he first noticed something strange was going on a few months ago. I didn't know what was going on over there. I, lo I saw traffic. I saw people going in and out the front door. But I had no idea until you know, when I saw the police over there, I didn't think prostitution. The Department of the Prosecuting Attorney says they began looking into the house after getting complaints from neighbors. In this case, it, um, during hours of the day and night, there were... Um, men going to uh, the residence and staying for, you know, it would appear to be a short period of time. After that, the department says they found online forums saying that the house was a place to go to to pay for sex. During their search Wednesday night, I'm told they found sex paraphernalia inside the property. However, no one was arrested. Nanomoto says the department is continuing its investigation. If these um, brothels do start to go out into the community, by that I mean into the neighborhoods that we would like to, uh, the community to send us letters or to call us so we can, you know, help to shut them down. Nanomoto tells me that the house was being rented. His office has notified the property owner of the, suspe of the suspected illegal activity. As for those he believes are breaking the law, he says they're still gathering evidence and hopes to eventually file criminal charges. Howard.